Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video on this um, 2001 uh, Raptor. Guy picked it up, um, picked it up for a thousand bucks off a guy. Um, he's saying it's a 686. I'm not sure. I'm not, I've never worked on one of these, but I have rebuilt uh, lots of machines and been working on them for quite a while. I got a 87 250R over there that's been redone from the ground up. Sleds, all kinds of cool shit. But um, this one uh, has a pipe on it and it does have a HMF. I think that's a slip on. Um, and from what I'm told, again, it's a uh, 686 and possibly has a cam. I'm not sure uh, what, but I did check the valves today. Um, it was the first thing I did, and the clearances were all way too tight um, on my feeler gauge. I mean, I couldn't even fit uh, the thinnest one in. I think it's like a 15 thousandths. Um, but I did go ahead and set the valves, the intake valves, and the exhaust valves. Um, went through the carb. The guy had a China carb on it. And right now it's got 155 on the left, 160 on the right. Uh, I did three turns out on the left on the idle air adjustment. Uh, two turns on the right. Um, cleared up a lot of idle issues, so it does idle real nice. And it actually gets pretty good throttle response. Um, but what's going on now is um, I'm going to start it up, but basically... At mid throttle, it's cutting out. Um, so I'm not sure if it's one of these micro switches um, that that go to the uh, I guess closes the loop for the rev limiter. I um, did a bypass here because I found an issue with uh, let's see if I can with this one, which is um, I guess for the reverse. And then there's another thing going on up here with the parking brake. This assembly is missing. I think there's something here that should be here for the parking brake. But maybe you guys can tell me. I think this is a housing for another micro switch. Um, if it is, I'm looking for the wiring that goes to that. Because if we are having an issue with the uh, rev limiter circuit, then um, I suspect that. But... Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it up, and then um, uh, that'll conclude the video. Um, I, I've, um, I know you guys are going to say, well, hey, you're, check your leaks, your air leaks and stuff. I've sprayed all kinds of ether um, starting fluid in there. Um, I've had the carbon in and out a few times. Um, gotten really good and proficient at putting that thing in and out. Um, I did the snorkel delete that was suggested on Raptor Forums. Somebody had modded this box before. Um, I've tried running it with the top off, um, with the with it on, with the snorkel on, and it's it doesn't really change anything. It's got a K and N um, single filter on the inside of there. So um, I did check the wiring. This is why it's kind of loose here. I checked the wiring underneath on the CDI um, just to see if uh, something was loose on there. I mean, no issues. So um, right now. Uh, the last thing I did was set the needle clips to uh, two because I suspect that it was um, running too rich. Um, so I lifted those up. And um, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it and that'll be the end of the video. Thanks. Please let me know in the comment section, um, you know, any suggestions you have or um if you have issues with yours, uh, feel free to comment so I can collab with you and maybe we can figure this out. Thanks.